Okay, so next up, ceiling works. So for the estimation for the materials of your ceiling, it is very uh, similar with the uh, procedure that we did when we solved for the number of um, wall studs and for the number of plywoods in the interior walls. So it would be like this. So for pretend that this is to be your uh, ceiling, so you would be having your joists placed at a spe at a specific distance. So in this problem, these wall joists are spaced at 0 0.6 meters on center both ways. So it would look like this. So meaning, yung spacing down niya center to center is 600 millimeters. So if you can see here, this plywood right here is actually fastened. From that, what we would be doing is to get the total area of the ceiling and multiply it by our factors. So for the plywood and for the lumber itself, so yung 2 by 2 daw natin na ceiling para doon. Let's just solve for the area first. So as for the area, so area A, area ceiling, is equal to, so it is said here that the ceiling area is 2.85 by 3.35. So 2.85 meters by 3.35 meters. So our answer here would be so 2.85 times 3.35 that is to be 9.55. So 9.55 square meters. Okay, so now that we have the area for the ceiling already, the next thing that we should do is to get the uh, factor for the uh, wall joists, I mean the ceiling joists. So, paste natin dito yung kinapi ko kanina. So, if this is to be the spacing of your um, ceiling joists, so, lagay ko yung dimensions niya dito, no? So, this is to be 1 meter, and this is also 1 meter. So, we are to get the factor, the length of this certain uh, wood right here, the certain lumber in for every a uh, square meter. So one meter, one meter also. Okay, so this spacing right here is 0 0.6. So ito 0 0.6 yan. So meaning ito 0 0.4 na lang. So, ganun na din dito sa side na to. This is 0 0.6 and this is 0 0.4. So, yan lang kasi yung kasha sa 1 meter by 1 meter na area. Okay, so what we would be doing next is to measure the wood here. So, ito, lagyan natin ng marking. So for this line right here, so 1 meter, 2 meters. So for your L, so for your length per square meter, so that is to be uh, 2 meters plus, so 2 meters plus, so itong green naman tayo, what would be the uh, distance of this? Ito yung length nyan, ito, ito. Then, ito, and ito na din. So, plus, so, 2 times, so what would be this length right here? So, 1 meter, so yung, yung buong yan, 1 meter, minus this certain thickness right here. So, it is said here that the, for our ceiling, we would be using 2 inches, so... 2 inches in meters is 0 0.05 so times 2 so ayan so this would be your length per meter squared so here solving for this 2 plus 2 times 1 minus 0 0.05 times 2 so our factor here would be 3.8 meters so, 3.8 meters per square meter. But before converting this to foot, to feet, I should say, we must take into consideration the fact that 
So ito, lakayan ko muna. We should take into consideration that we also need to hang this to our um, to our roofing structural members. So for example, that you have a truss, we must have hangers here. So ito, magkakaroon. May, meron tayong mga increased lengths na yan. And we can't really directly count them. So if you can, pwede naman. Hindi mas maganda kung mabilang nyo yung mga hangers nyo. But for estimation purposes, let's just increase our factor right here by 10%. So, so yan. If, eh, kasi kapag hindi natin in-increase to, bag wala tayong hangers, your, the tendency of your ceiling materials, I mean your ceiling joist, is to sag. So this is for its support. Okay, so... Ayan, with that being said, I would be increasing this by 10% by multiplying 1.10. So, ultimately, you would be having a factor of, so 3.8 times 1.1, 3.8 by 1.1, so that is equal to 4.18. So, 4.18 meters per square meter. So, okay, so proceed tayo sa next column para hindi sayang ang space. So, dito tayo mag-proceed. So, what we would be doing next is to convert this to feet. So, 4.18 4.18 meters per square meters times 3.28 feet per meter. So, convert lang natin siya sa feet per square meters. So, 4.18 times 3.28 So, that is to be 13.71 so 13.71 feet per square meter so now that we have our factor already we must multiply this by our area so for the length of joist so L joist na lang lagay natin for our length of joist that is to be 9.55 square meters so this is the total area of the ceiling times 13.71 so times 13.71 feet per meter squared so with that the length of your joist would be so L joist would be so 13.71 times 9.55 so 130.931 so 130.93 feet so there and after that we must get the total board foot that we would be needing for the ceiling works so for the BF total so board foot that is equal to ang gagamitin daw natin 2 by 2 daw diba so 2 inches by 2 inches by 130.93 feet so times our conversion factor which is one board foot for every 12 inch inch foot so our answer here would be 2 by 2 by 130.93 divided by 12 so our answer here would be 43.64 board foot so 43.64 board foot so that would be the total board foot that we would be needing. Okay, copy ko lang ulit para next slide na ulit tayo. So that is to be the total board foot. So for us to get the uh, number of 2 by 2 by let's say by 12. So kung 2 by 2 by 12 yung gagamitin natin. So board foot for... 2 by 2 by 12 is equal to so multiply natin yan sa 1 board foot divided by 12 inch inch feet so 12 inch just would cancel out so your board foot or your factor would be 4 board foot for every piece of 2 by 2 by 12 so we would be dividing this board foot right here by this to get the number of pieces so 
for us to get the number of 2 by 2 by 12 so kanto siya 43.64 board foot divided by 4 board foot per piece and this would give you an answer of so 43.64 divided by 4 so 10.91 so we would be rounding it up to 11 pieces of 2 by 2 by 12 so this is to be for the number of pieces for your joists then as for the number of plywoods so hatiin na ulit natin to for your end ply so our area before is I mean the area for the ceiling is 9.55 square meters so that is to be 9.55 square meters divided by the area of one plywood which is 2.88 meters squared per piece or alternatively 9.55 square meters divided by 1.2 by 2.4 so that is to be in meters squared so this 1.2 by 2.4 right here is the dimension of your plywood of one plywood so okay so solving for this so 9.55 divided by 2.88 so our answer here would be 3.3 and we would be rounding it up to 4 pieces so so this is to be four pieces um three fourths inch so this is to be the thickness marine plywood so after you have solved for all of those what you would be doing is to summarize them in the last i mean in the summary page of your work then you're good to go that's it for this series of pre-recorded lectures if there are any concerns feel free to message me so thank you everyone so bye bye